welcome back to another Copilot video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use Copilot within the Edge browser to act as a reference checker for a university dissertation or presentation. So you can see here I have a university uh, presentation. This is a presentation that's been saved into PDF. Um, this is actually a document that my wife is working on for her university degree at the moment. And this contains a list of all the references used in the presentation deck that she has put together. So we can see here an example, if I scroll up, of a couple of references, um, one of her own and another one, which I won't even try and pronounce, Big Disky or something along those lines. And the goal here is to make sure that I have correctly referenced everything and that I don't have any citations in the document that I haven't included in this reference. So to do this, I'm going to use Copilot. So I've opened this within the Edge browser. You'll see at the top right of the screen, I have Copilot. So if I bring Copilot up, it will load by default like this. Um, now I'm going to choose to use the creative mode. Um, I can use various different modes within, within Copilot. I find that uh, GPT-4 creative um, is often the best. Now, when I when I do this for the first time, you'll see here that there's a drop down that asks me what resources I want to use, what sources. So I'm actually going to select this page. So this means that the prompt that I run will only analyze this content. It won't go out to the internet or try and do anything smart. It will just use this content. Now, I've written a prompt already, which I'm going to paste in here. Uh, and you can have a quick look through what we're asking it to do. So I'm telling Copilot that it is a, an examiner reviewing the student's work. I've told it that the presentation contains a set of citations. I've given an example of what one of those citations looks like. And I've also told it that at the end of the document, there is this reference page, which you're seeing now. I've then asked it to please check that each reference in the main text has been referenced correctly and do this by creating a table with the references found in the main body and then confirming them. Um, you will know I've got some spelling mistakes in here. Uh, Copilot actually doesn't really care too much about spelling mistakes. It will work it out for me. I'm now going to hit submit and we will see what Copilot does. So the first thing that happens is it pops up and says, look, you know, this might be confidential information. I'm not going to share this, so it won't use this information or save the chat history. So I'm going to say, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Off we go. So you can now see that Copilot is working away and it is starting to list the citations. So it's going through here and it's going to tell me at each point where the reference is stated, where it's used, what page it comes onto. Now what's interesting here, so it's gone through and produced this table for me, which is quite nice. I can actually ask it to read it aloud for me if I want to. Um, it has told me that obviously the page numbers are based on the current format, so that, that yeah, that's fine, I understand that. Um, what's also useful is it's told me here that there is uh, a year mentioned in the text citation for uh, Bronner Brenner, which should be 1989, but the reference is listed at 1979, so it's telling me there's actually a discrepancy in the reference that it's found. So a really quick way we can check that is simply to copy this piece of text here because I'm bound to spell it wrong. Go into the search box up here, put in the search field and press enter. This will now search for those references. And you can see here it's picked up the reference correctly as 1979. But if I scan through the document you'll see here actually in the text body it does reference that being as 1989 so again copilot has picked out that discrepancy and its advice of course is to go back and check so there we go really simple way of how we can check our citations in the document the other really key thing that we can do here which is quite nice is if we go back to the top of the document uh, the table that it's created as well we can 
ask it to simply export that as an Excel. So that will now export that for us into an Excel spreadsheet, making it far easier for us to review that. So if I click on the export button, just by clicking the Excel logo to an Excel render to come out for me. And here we go, it's gonna pull all of that into a table, which I can now expand. And that's pretty good. So that served as a reference checker guide for me. A really simple way for you to check your university degree citations. Thanks very much. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It all helps. Thank you.